Good morning, everybody. Those of you in the know will understand what this means. Bruno the brown bus is being prepped and the start is being made for an upcoming trip to Botswana. We'll do more on that a little later, but in the meantime, you'll see we're starting to put the boxes in, fit the fridge, and George has got a few other little plans up his sleeve. And he's done a few changes to the power system, some extra goodies, a new plug, and on this side, a few new plugs and mounting for the fridge. The fridge works on a slider, which I'll show you later as well. And it's not going to be long before Bruno gets top heavy with that baby, which currently hangs from the roof in between trips, but she'll be going down on the roof very shortly and more additions will be made. And we look forward to our upcoming trip and we hope you'll be following it with us. George has also done some mods in the front. Actually, he's still busy. See, the painting hasn't been finished yet, but he's cleaned up the bull bar quite a bit. And the winch is going to undergo some mods with a new nylon rope instead of a steel cable. And all that's going to happen after we get back from this trip. Something about an impending trip. Montgomery Ignatius seems to know something's up. 
and he checks out all the handiwork of the humans to see if it's all up to scratch. You wanna come with, boy? Hmm? You wanna come with, my boy? How's that tent? Comfortable? Hmm? Is that nice, boy? Bruno's looking rather spiffy this morning. She's getting excited for the upcoming trip. George has done some last minute tweaking and he's connected the solar panels to do a test run on that. And I'm going to go around and open up the back and show you what the packing and situation inside looks like so far. Inside Bruno, it was rather hot when I opened her up. We've started adding all the goodies um, for our upcoming trip, we've got another two days and we'll be on the road. And um, yeah, the interior net, which is one of the handiest things in the vehicle, has started taking shape. Back box is in. This ammo box is not in yet. That's where George puts his toolbox. And then this is the back seat box with a table. There'll be more things packed on this side. Just a peep up into the net and you'll see hats, raincoats, fleeces, kikoys, pegs, raincoats and a few other things. If I show you down here, that's our awning poles in the long green bag and space for our clothes, bags and shoes down in the footwells. The back box is starting to get fuller. There'll be more ammo boxes down there. Space for ammo boxes. Sneak away spots down the side. Here's the fridge on the mount. And this little sleeve here takes a whole lot of six packs. The crate is fixed in and then will be netted down along with a sort of eight litre water can just for extra quick water for other than the main tank. And that, those things haven't been sorted yet, but we've dumped them in. Um, there's our solar controller and inverter. So we can charge camera batteries and other things. That was what George has been sorting out and checking and doing trial runs the last while. Down the side here go our fold-up chairs. I saw this handy little trick quite recently and copied it for this trip this trip for the first time. Here we have a silver shield like awning which we've used before and it's very very handy behind it our second table. Here is another handy little gadget that we've got on here. This thing hanging behind the passenger seat with all the bug spray, sunblock, creams and more goodies down there. This is where, so where the clothes bags will go in front of the awning poles hanging over here. Each side, you might have noticed the little blue LED lights. We call them the two amigos. And a hand towel hanging there. Some of you might be wondering what these are. And I will show you. That's what those do. Parked or camping or even driving quite slowly. And this is what you can do. That's thanks to Patrick and Stahl, who taught us this little trick. And they can be slotted. We've got four of them. They can be slotted into all of the windows if you want to keep monkeys and the likes out while you are not in your vehicle, but you still want some breeze through your vehicle. We're ready to roll. We'll probably pull away in about half an hour. Just a few odds and ends around the house. George has finished his work for the day. And um, yeah, we'll be hitting the road. Half an hour. And here's Bruno inside. He's still able to see through the top. Bridges packed. GPS fitted. And everything else. 
and all that remains is to shuffle cars and lock up houses and garages and as I said a last few odds and ends We're now through the border at Labatsi and uh, that was quite a smooth, easy border crossing, about half an hour in total. We're heading for Labatsi to buy all the things that we probably could have brought with us if we wanted to anyway. Um, meat, fruit, veggies, milk, eggs, etc. But we'll go and buy it in Labatsi because we need to eat. Last fuel stop in Sekoma before we turn left onto the Kokocha Road, which we will get the cut line from there. Uh, heading out of Sakoma South now towards the Mabua turn off on the cut line, which you'll we hopefully will get there at about half an hour's time. Donkey car crossing, and that is two horsepower, and this one is three horsepower, no, five horsepower. Getting off the road for us. Oh, getting off the road. This is getting off on the road. Getting off on the road. And so the donkey species will continue. tires down we need to let our tires down first so this tree must have been used many times before for people letting tires down before they go onto the thick sand on the Mabua road so we'll have something to eat here as well temperatures in the high 30s today I can feel it there's a breeze which makes it more bearable that's why we're looking for shade while we listen to the goat bells tinkle tinkle and George is doing the standard tire let down duty for going on to sand. We're riding on the cut line now between Kokocha and the Mabua Sabong road and at the moment we're managing to get almost 50 k's an hour. The sand is hot, the tires are hot and the humans are hot. This is so cute, watching them daddy daycare with his nice little brood running along in front of us. My parents have gone into the bushes but the chicks are still on the road. Here we're down at the pen, 
very dry and bleak, but at least the, this part has been spared a bit of the burn. Right in the distance over there, I'm sure I can see the vehicle. We'll head around that way and see what we can see. After a nice cold drink at Jackie's Pan, we've done a little bit of camp setting up. Somebody's tried to create a shower and toilet, but no luck. And chewed up. And here's Home Sweet Home. Overlooking the pen.